In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make sure you get uh, left and right audio pans on an Adobe Premiere Pro. So I recorded uh, some footage and you'll hear it uh, real quick. Here, this lady, she's just in my left channel. Okay, so that's just in the left channel. So what we want to do is make it a left and right channel. So what I was trying to do is go here, right click in audio, audio channels. No, you have to do that uh, while it's in the timeline. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go here and reveal in project. And that's clip number 75. So I'm going to double click that. And again, you see, all right, good audio. And then I'm going to click here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on modify audio channels. And once I go to modify audio channels, I'm going to make this mono. Okay. And then I'm going to make this mono and I'm just going to save a preset. And then I'm going to say, uh, just call it both speakers mono. I know that's probably not the correct term for all you audio guys, but it's just a preset that I can use and I can just do it easily. And then it's going to ask me changes to this format will affect clips already in this will not affect clips in the sequence. So it's not going to affect that clip already. See, but then when I click here, let's click on 75 here. Okay, so that's a little hot. So I'm going to just go ahead and put that down. I'm going to delete this clip right here. Let's click here on the timeline and then let's just uh, put this clip. I could, I could do an in and out point, but I'm not too much like right. I'm just going to drag this down here and put that like that. So. So that's how you do it. You do it here in a sequence. And uh, whenever you see these, I had a lot of interviews that I had with one track. And I want to make sure on one, one I heard it one speaker. And I want to make sure that, that I got it here. So again, I'm going to go here and I want to click modify audio channels. And then um, uh, both speakers mono. And there we go. So I just use my preset that I just created. Take care. Any questions, just leave a comment under this video. See ya.